The Shawnee Milling Company is a sprawling operation which has continued to thrive and expand during the course of a century. In April of 1906, J. Lloyd Ford used his entire life savings of $10,500 to buy this barn-like frame flour mill, which originally bore the name of Shawnee Roller Mills. It was transported over the North Canadian River and placed in Shawnee, Oklahoma Territory, where it was renamed the Shawnee Milling Company. Really, to be a town, you had to have a flour mill. There wasn't very good transportation. There wasn't very good roads. And so the flour mill really served a local market. Joe Ford is the great-grandson of J. Lloyd Ford. He explains that when rail lines and roads were built, there didn't need to be a mill in every town. They were replaced with regional mills across the state of Oklahoma. Shawnee Mills survived all the competition. With more consolidation and more trucking, we've gotten to this point where there's only three flour mills in the state. Two of them are with our company, Shawnee Milling, and O'Keen Milling in uh, western Oklahoma, which my uncle runs. He says the history of the Shawnee Milling Company also reflects the history of our state and nation. Newspaper clippings from every decade of the operation reflect the changing times. The company paid for this full-page ad to encourage citizens to buy war bonds during World War II. This picture was taken in 1946, a year after the war ended. That is a picture of my grandfather, um, Leslie Ford, handing my great-grandfather, J. Lloyd Ford, his 40-year pin. Today, the company employs 250 people. It operates 24 hours a day, six days a week, seven during their busy season. Just like the Ford family, many of the workers come from generations who worked here before them. Every day, family members work alongside each other. I've been here for 26 years now, and I've had uh, my nephew work for me, and my son's worked here. My mother-in-law is actually the receptionist for the main op office, and uh, her son is an elevator foreman, and my sister-in-law also works in the plant. Shawnee Mills products are seen on our grocery store shelves. Schools and restaurant chains are also part of their customer base. Small businesses like Sips Coffee Shop in downtown Shawnee are also customers. Waffles made from a Shawnee Mills mix are served here daily. I'm Waffle Man! Can you cut it? Here. <laughs> the O'Quinn boys gobble them up and argue over the last few bites. Hey! Peanut! Do you know where that waffle came from? No, I don't. <laughs> yes. I think uh, here. California. Where do waffles come from? From this coffee shop. <laughs> No, boys, the ingredients first come from Oklahoma farming communities. Wheat is trucked directly from the farm to Shawnee Mills. A truckload carrying 900 bushels is worth about $6,300 based on recent pricing. This is where the raw wheat is ground. It has already traveled through a grain elevator where it was cleaned and sorted according to different standards like protein and moisture. By sorting the wheat, Shawnee Mills can make flour based on specific needs of bakeries, pizza chains, or other specialty restaurants. The mill is six stories tall. Workers travel from floor to floor like this. Sifting takes place on this floor. Here, sophisticated machinery separates what will be used for different products. The coarse bran will either go into whole wheat products or animal feeds. The most refined will be used to make flour. On this floor, the pure white flour is packaged continually and will be shipped all over the United States and beyond. If you look at the volume of our business, it's in the southwest and the southeast part of the United States. We do ship um, product across the United States and even some into the Caribbean and down into Australia. Over the years, Shawnee Mills has greatly expanded its product lines. The company produces a variety of mixes. Here you see the gravy mix being packaged. When you're in an Oklahoma restaurant, in a regional restaurant, it's very likely that you might be eating some of our biscuit mix, cornbread mix, gravy mix, and pizza. If you eat a pizza in this, in this area, it's very likely you may be eating some of our flour as well. Joe says the company is still evolving and growing. Within the last few years, we have doubled our pet food production here at the plant, and we have plans to do that again within the next 18 months. He says the success of Shawnee Mills is based on his family values and strong work ethic. Well, I started out working here 
just out of high school. Uh, my, my father put me to work in the plant, sweeping the floor and stacking the feed bags and grading the grain when the farmers came in. And that really, I think, helped me understand the, the different roles that it takes to make this company successful. Every person here plays a role that if one person doesn't do their job, the quality of the product from start to finish is compromised. So it, it really allowed me to see that every person in this company has an important role Joe Ford believes the strength of Shawnee Mills is rooted in longtime loyal employees who are committed to delivering superior products to their customers.